Hey guys, welcome to the Touchdown Table. I'm Ryan, that's Tyler, that's Jordan, and this video is going to be a fun one, especially for me, because we are doing our AFC South predictions. In case you don't know, you're a first time reviewing these videos on our channel. I am a Texans fan, so I've been looking forward to this one. AFC South, interesting division, always competitive. Let's talk about it. Yeah, let's, let's talk about it, and let's start at the top like we normally do. And Jordan, with your frowny face over there, I heard I cut you off a little bit, so I'm going to be nice and let you start it off yeah. with your stats that you love reading. I don't have stats up here. I have a roster pulled up. And You'll have stats soon. You'll have stats soon. That's true. Let's give right. us some time. Hopefully. Yeah. Uh, so let's talk about this roster, and I'll start with the offense because that is first right now. And the main person on this offense, now that DeAndre Hopkins is gone, is obviously the quarterback drafted in 2017 17? 17 with Patrick Mahomes in that same draft class with him. <laughs> And Mitchell Trubisky, who's on my favorite team, the Bears. Uh, but that is for a different <laughs> video. <laughs> Sorry, I had to do it too. Playing into the stereotypes. Yeah. So, and that is Deshaun Watson, obviously. Uh, Ryan's prediction to win MVP yes. this year. Mm -hmm. He's confident in his quarterback. Deshaun Watson has done pretty good. Should have pulled up from some stats for him. They all do that in a second. So he should have a good year. Also, David Johnson, the new addition to this offense yeah. from the Cardinals. It should be fun to see how he works. He's been struggling recently with injuries, all that stuff. Hopefully he can stay in the field because I am interested to see how this guy would do, especially under an offensive line that's getting filled up a bit more. A better, yeah. So let's mm -hmm. just move to that real quick. Laramie Tunsil, uh, Sinio Calamity, Nick Martin, <laughs> Zach Fulton, <laughs> and Titus Howard okay. drafted last year. Uh, so some new, newer faces in there, kind of. Laramie Tunsil was in the trade last year. Yep. They've been focusing on that line to try to help, first of all, Deshaun Watson uh, because he's been sacked so many times. There was something on Instagram the other day. I think it was with Deshaun Watson, like him him escaping a bunch of uh, sacks. And I was, I was scrolling through the comments, and I was just waiting to find something that said, wow, how good is this offensive line because they're, cause they're just constantly rushing. He's getting to it. Nobody said it, though. I don't comment. Maybe I could have got a bunch of likes because I, I thought yeah. that was funny. Uh, but anyways, so uh, they're getting better. And then the wide receivers, Will Fuller, V, yeah. Brandon Cooks, yeah. who they got this year. Hopefully he can stay healthy. And Randall Cobb as well, who Ryan's a big yeah. fan of. Ryan, yeah. talk about your offense for a little bit. Well, the offense, you know, everyone's going to talk about the loss of D-Hop and that bad trade, which is fair. But I still think that this team has a pretty good offense. Deshaun Watson, top five quarterback in the game, in my opinion. He the finished with, let's see... Uh, 3,852 yards and 26 touchdowns last season with 12 interceptions in there. So pretty good stats for him. Yeah. yeah. He, he does have really good stats. And, and I play no surprise, though. <laughs> yeah, and I think that um, as far as this year is concerned, I'm really excited to watch him. He is a guy that does was, take... Sorry, I had, I had no, to say ahead. this. In 2018, he was sacked 62 times. In his rookie year, it was 19, 19 times in the play as much... This year, 2019, 44 times. Yeah. That's way too much. Yeah. Not, not not good, but imp improvement on that offensive line when it comes to allowing sacks. Um, but you look at the offense. We talked about Deshaun Watson. He's a guy that takes a lot of hits, you know, gets beat around a little bit. The offensive line, still not great, but improving. So there is some concerns with longevity. Um, but as of this year, I think he's still good to go. I think he's going to be awesome. The offensive line, as Jordan mentioned, Laramie Tunsil, Titus Howard, some guys they're bringing in, getting some good depth getting improvement at that position, which was really bad for a few years um, a few years ago. And then the receivers, Brandon Cooks and Will Fuller, two guys, if they could stay healthy, I think they could be really awesome. And to round out my take on their offense, Darren Fells, um, the tight end for them, I think he's very underrated. He's not a household name. Mm -hmm. If you're not even if you're not a Texans fan, you might not even know who he is. Uh, he's been, in, he, last year was his first year with the team. I loved what I saw from him, so watch out for him. Yeah, and then... I also want to make one one quick point here before you start talking. I was talking about sacks before. Just a comparison. Like I said, 44 sacks this year for Deshaun Watson. And Tom Brady this year only suffered 27 sacks. Yeah. Which is a bit Spoiled. of a difference uh, between those two. Yeah, and as Ryan said, watch out for the receivers even though they lost Hopkins. I do want to mention that. They brought in some new names. Yeah. And other some other guys, Kenny Stills, Kiki Cutie. I'm sure Ryan said them. Uh, uh, I think I did. If it, I, I, uh, but those are some other guys. I don't, don't want to talk too much about yeah. them. They're this an number one video. on the depth chart. They're actually at two, but they're got they're game, gains. They're names that you know uh, that can go out there and do some stuff. They got Kenny Stills last year, but I heard there were trade talks with him. Yeah, he's he's been um, in some rumors, but nothing's happening yet because they do have a lot of wide receivers. So you wonder if it might just get too crowded. Yet. Absolutely. Let's move to the defense real quick, and that is of course going to start with the main guy. J.J. Watt has been there for a long time. Has been a menace. 
for a long time at the defensive end position. Uh, Charles Amena, who I know Ryan likes him, yeah. also at the defensive end, opposite of J.J. Watt. Whitney Merciless, a big name a lot of people know. Uh, Bernard Jerk McKinney at the linebacker position as well. Zach Cunningham, someone that I know as well. Yeah. And then at safety, Justin Reed is someone I know Ryan yeah. has liked a bit more. Uh, Bradley Roby playing quarterback, cornerback. Mm -hmm. uh, he did pretty good last year. Had some picks in some games. Didn't yeah. return one to the house once, too. I think he did, and he also battled some injuries, so I'm excited to see what yeah. he did. He picked off Jameis Winston. Yeah. I remember that. Who didn't? Who did it? That's <laughs> Basically true. everyone. Yeah. Uh, so a, a decent defense overall. I mean, there's obviously some holes, but most of the names on this defense – uh, football fans will know, and I basically know all of them because yeah. I know a lot about football, mm -hmm. and I've also know because I hear the yeah. Texans fan. But, yeah. yeah. Well, when you think about this defense, I, I forgot guys, about Ross Blacklock. Yeah. I've said this a pick. lot, but the consistency. He's second on the death chart, though. The consistency for this defense in the last couple of years has Jonathan really been Greener. there. Watch out for John uh, Green. There's yeah. been like new guys coming in and out of this defense, but it always seems like they're in the top ten at least for defenses in the NFL. Maybe not the greatest at times, but it's never really bad, and that's what I think is impressive about this defense as a whole and why I like the direction of this Texans team. Yeah. All right, let's move on from the Texans because it feels like we've been talking about them for a while, but yes. why would it not? Because yeah. it's Ryan's wasn't team. all my fault, though. So we got, we got to give it to him. Let's move to the team that finished second in the division last year, and that is the Tennessee Titans, and it is an interesting team to analyze this year. First off, we start with the quarterback position, and that position is played by one and only Ryan Tannehill. At their sure, running there's others. But, yeah. Oh, yeah. There's also Logan Woodside and Colin McDonald who are on the team, but they're not at the number one. Uh, the number well, I'm one. saying there's probably other people named Ryan Tannehill. Oh, no, yeah. But the one and only Ryan Tannehill, who's a, who's a starter for the Tennessee Titans right now. There you That's go. what I'm talking about. Uh, next is a huge name on this team. It is Derrick Henry, mm -hmm. the king, as he's called. Yeah. That guy trucks like a truck. Um, it sounds <laughs> like a bad analogy, but it's just true. It's just very true. A.J. Brown, the rookie, he has a very, very promising future. I love what I saw from A.J. Brown last year. Mm -hmm. I think either him or Josh Jacobs should have won yeah. uh, Rookie of the Year, not Kyler Murray. That's a different discussion, though. Corey Davis has some struggles recently, but I think he can do good. He was someone who drafted in the first round, had a lot of hype around him, That's but has not really lived up to it. Also, Adam Humphreys, uh, he was on the Buccaneers, I think, two years ago. It's his second year now with the Tennessee Titans, so it should be interesting to watch that. And then Johnny Smith at the tight end position. Yeah. Yeah. That's an underrated guy, but yeah. I really like Johnny Smith. I think, was it in that Ravens game where he made that good catch? Yeah, I, I, I remember. Like, I was with one of you when that happened. Yeah. I was saying, oh, that's not a catch. And I'm yeah. like, wait, it is a Were catch. Were you with us for that game, the Titans Ravens game? Yes, I was, and I watched a lot of it. Oh, okay. Well, um,. Yeah, I, I, when we're talking about this offense, I will say some things concern me. Mm -hmm. The consistency with the tight end position and the other receivers. A.J. Brown had a great year last year, so I'm not going to talk about his consistency. And then Corey also, Davis, Adam Humphreys, yeah. more I guess I'm going to say about Corey, Corey Davis when you're done. Yeah, and then also, Ryan Tannehill at the quarterback position. It scares me because they just paid him a lot of money. Yes. And I don't know if he can continue to do what he did last year. And their current is playing on franchise. Yeah. Right now. yeah. yeah. Not, well, didn't they sign? Oh, well, they, they, no, they, they, they did. Yeah, they did. Yeah, sign he him. was originally they, franchise tag. Then they gave him his money, oh, okay. but he deserves it. He's like Absolutely. a Ford F one fifty coming out of the backfield. They just yeah. can't stop him. He's just too big and too powerful mm -hmm. to contain. Yeah, and one thing I want to add, it's about Corey Davis. He definitely has potential. And I'm going to pull a Jordan here. I'm going to say, well, I'm going to say this because it's true. Corey Davis was on my fantasy team last year, but this oh, is gosh. actually relevant to the video because he would either give me twenty points or like. 0.20 points. There was just a lot of inconsistency. He's flashed up the potential, so I'm just curious to see. I don't know if I'll draft him again, but I'm curious to see uh, if he can get that consistency going. Because remember, this guy was drafted fifth overall. Uh, and just for my random stuff for the day, Tyler mentioned a Ford F-150. This is why the videos vehicle. are a half hour long. Uh, but there's also some other big vehicles. Concrete, transport truck, mobile crane, dump truck, garbage truck, log carrier, refrigerator truck, tractor unit, tank truck, and more. Well, I thought the Ford F-150 was more... Accurate of what he is because he's not like a huge guy, but just powerful he and overwhelming. He's a huge guy. Are you kidding me? Yeah. Well, not like not as huge as like, like a garbage truck. <laughs> like, I wouldn't say that. <laughs> Those, I just thought the Ford F one fifty was the best example to describe his Ford largeness without over exaggerating it. All right, but let's, let's start talking about the defense. Yeah, please. well, I'm gonna name off some linemen first, then we'll get to the defense because you don't want to forget the offensive line. Some guys on that line: Taylor yeah. Lewan. A lot of people know he's got a bit of an 
an added two. Yeah. Uh, and then Isaiah Wilson they drafted this year. Yeah. I'm excited to see how he can do. I think he First did pretty good at Georgia. Yeah. I love that yeah. school. Did you watch a lot of Georgia film? I did watch a lot of oh, Georgia cool. film. Yeah, yeah, Georgia's pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. And then Nate Davis, Ben Jones, Roger Saffold, the third also on yeah. that line as well. Now let's move to the defense. And their defense is Getting billed, it's not great yet, but there are some names that you definitely know on the defense. Yeah. Two of the safeties are names that most people know, Kenny Vicari and Kevin Byer at that, that those safety positions. Then, uh, let's see, Vic Beasley Jr. at the linebacker position. Yeah. I don't know if he's new. Do you, what, did he play there last year? Because I feel like he was with the Falcons. Yeah, he was, he was with the Falcons. Falcons. Well, former first-round pick, I believe. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Rashad Evans also playing linebacker. He is a newer guy as well. Yeah. It should be fun to see how he's – was he drafted two years ago? Uh, I don't remember the year exactly. It was somewhat like recently. Yeah, it was somewhat recently. So he should be an interesting to watch. And also Malcolm Butler at that cornerback position. Who's ever going to forget what he did? It oh, is intercepted yeah. the goal line. Exactly. Also another uh, cornerback you might know, Adore Jackson on that yeah. team. Uh, I missed some names, of course. Also, they have Christian Fulton. Uh, oh, so well, that, that was yeah. a great pick. Yeah. Getting him at the end of the second round, it might have been pick 61. I don't know for sure. I think it was that. That was a great pick. Remember, they also that have name. Jonathan Joseph. Oh yeah, yeah. So he's the, on the Texans. Yeah, Good this thing. is an underrated defense if you look at it. Not a lot of people will talk about it, but if you look at the roster, there's a lot of good players around there. The production really hasn't been so large in the last couple of years, which is why maybe they're a little underrated. Yeah. But um, watch out for their defense this year because I think it could shock some people. Yeah, and Mike Vrabel is a great coach, by the way. Yes. True. Let's head on to the next team. And that is the Indianapolis Colts. We'll try to go faster through them, yes, but it's please. going to be hard to go through this team fast because there's a lot to analyze with yeah. this team. It's looking really new, and it starts at the quarterback position with former Los Angeles Chargers quarterback for a very long time, Phillip Rivers, moving his career over to Indianapolis for – I think it's a two-year deal. It? I think it was one. It was, oh, it might be one. You're right. Uh, so it'll be interesting to see how he plays with a different team. I know some people think that he's kind of done. I think he's still got some left. Also, Marlon Mack at that running back position. Mm -hmm. He's had some good years. Tyler had him on his fantasy year team this year. Two mm -hmm. years ago. Mm -hmm. Two years ago. Mm -hmm. uh, so he did pretty good for him. Then also at that wide receiver position, T.Y. Hilton. He's been there for a while. I think he's an underrated wide receiver in this league. I mean, I've, I've, a lot of people know his name. He's just not really... He's their version of Will Fuller. I'll give him Yeah, that. absolutely. And Michael Pittman, who they drafted this year out of South Carolina. No. Try again. Southern You're right California. there. Which is, what's, what's like the SC. Yes. There you go. You, were, uh, uh, you had the right idea on yeah, SC. Yeah, I knew it was yeah. SC. Uh, so, he, he, I didn't watch him uh, because I didn't have time to, but I didn't know where he was from. I think he's pretty good. Mm -hmm. Also, Paris Campbell, someone that Tyler likes. Oh, he's yeah. actually third on the depth chart, so he might he get some injured a lot time. last year. So uh, yeah, I remember on. that whole Paris a Campbell of, thing. I mean, it could yeah. still be possible. He could still be have a good career, yeah. but maybe just working mm -hmm. just wasn't. Well, yeah. Remember our Colts Texans debate about a year ago? Yeah, yeah. that, that I mean, was something. But we videos. also were talking about Andrew Luck in that video, so mm -hmm. that's how I know, that's how you know it was a long time ago. That's yeah. true. And then a tight end position, Jack Doyle, who was there last year. I think he's to do some good things. And I forgot about this one. Trey Burton is actually oh. on the Colts right now. He was I you were gonna go my team, my formal team, the Bears. Uh, so, <laughs> so it's going to be interesting to see how they use both of those tight ends. Yeah. And they also have a stacked, stacked offensive line. Yeah, Anthony Costanzo, Quentin Nelson, who is just an absolute beast. Ryan Kelly, Mark Lewinsky, and Brandon Smith. There's yeah. a bunch of tanks yeah. on that offensive line to open up holes for Marlon yeah. Lack to protect yeah. Philip oh, Rivers right. to give time for T.Y. Hilton, Michael Pittman, and Paris Campbell to get open. They're such a great offensive line, yeah. a great unit together. We did a video talking about the Steelers uh, in general. We talked about their offensive line and how many pole bowlers we usually see with them. The Colts is another one. It's a lot of Steelers and Colts in the Pro Bowl yeah. on the offensive line, rightfully so. It's such a strong unit and so important. And I'm yeah. glad that they recognize that in Indianapolis. They very well might have the best offensive line in the league. Might be them, might be Dallas, might be New Orleans maybe. But I think they're definitely top three. Yeah. All right, let's move to the defense now. And these first two guys in the name they took from the Chiefs, Justin Houston at the defensive end position. And also the guy they got this year, DeForest Buckner, in that trade for the first round pick. And two, more. Two huge additions. Yeah. Two defense. huge additions, absolutely. DeForest Buckner and Houston very, very great player. Should definitely help out this Colts team. Also, Darius Leonard Big drafted uh, a year ago. He had a very great rookie season. He did. I think he, uh, he, I like him, but he I was 50 kind of overall don't. in the top 100 this year, yeah. I think. Yeah. So, Somewhere around there. Darius Leonard is a very underrated guy. Uh, he was very upset he did not win look rookie of the, or defensive rookie of the year. Yeah. Uh, Who did win it? I don't remember. 
forget what, what I said. What was I it? thought he did win defensive record. No, no, he was upset he didn't get to go to the Pro Bowl. That's what it was. Uh, yeah, I was gonna say. Uh, he's really won. good now, though. Yeah, and then uh, let's see other any other names I should mention. Uh, their secondary, a little bit more weak overall. Mm-hmm. Rock Yasin is there, someone who was drafted last year. Bobby O'Curry, mm-hmm. Karis Wills, Malik Hooker, Kenny Moore, second. So not as many names that you really know. They, they, got, they got Xavier Rhodes, though, right? They, they have Xavier Rhodes. The Pro Bowl. <laughs> the, pro, the Pro Bowl is Xavier Rhodes, who is second in their depth chart behind Bobby O'Curry. Kirky O'Curry. I, I think it's Okariki or something. That sounds that's like Okariki, it yeah. yeah. Um, actually, it's behind Rock Yassin, excuse me. Um, so, yeah, Xavier Rhodes is also on that team. So there's that. Let's move on to the last team because we are yeah. really taking a long time. So yeah, well, we don't worry because the Jaguars just... shouldn't take too long to analyze because yeah, yeah. there's not much to analyze on this team. Yeah. First, we go to the quarterback position. That's Gardner Minshew. Yeah, uh, Minshew Mania was last year. For now, you're right. We also have Mike Glenn on that team. Uh, an interesting memory that's for That's how you know they're fan. tanking. Yeah. Uh, so we'll see what Minshew could do this season. Obviously losing uh, Nick Foles to the Bears in the trade. So it's kind of Minshew's season to uh, show it or be gone. Yeah. Uh, and then also Leonard Fournette, I think he's an underrated running back. I think yeah. he's a good running back. The problem is get the guy just gets injured way too much. He did not get an inside joke with yeah. us. Yeah. So I'd like to see him stay healthy, but I think he's a great running back. Uh, also uh, the, that wide receiving core, a bit underrated. I love DJ Chark. I think DJ Chark. Is going to be a great yeah. player once he There's finally has a good guys. quarterback. Keep talking about yeah. to him. He's not that bad. Chris Conley, maybe not someone you know as much, but he's still pretty good. Dede Westbrook, mm-hmm. uh, he's There's pretty good one. as well. Yeah, come on. Uh, Tyler Eifert at that tight end position. Uh, I'll okay. get to one in a second. I missed one. But uh, yeah. Tyler Eifert, who was previously with the Bengals for a long time. Yeah, battled some injuries, though. Battled some injuries, absolutely. We'll see how he can recover. Also missed LaVisca Schnault at yeah, that wide receiver yeah. position. Nice pick. Uh, so that, yeah, so that should be Any interesting to see how, how he does. Uh, also, Michael Rumbling. Walker is on that team. Huh, nice. uh, I just want to mention that one. Michael Walker's. And then uh, that that, that uh, offensive line, not, not many good. names you know too much. Really, the main <laughs> one you know go. is Jawan Taylor because oh, he yeah, he's, no, he's, he's good, he's good. He is everything good. else. Uh, but the other guys, they're uh, not the really as still much they still have known around Robinson. the league. Uh, so, anything you guys have to say on your offense? No. Uh, Trevor Lawrence. <laughs> it's coming for soon. Trevor. Yeah, tank for Trevor with the first pick of the 2021 NFL Draft. The Jaguars. Well, let's go through Trevor the defense, Lawrence. and when we make our picks, we already talked about each team a lot. So let's just go four, three, two, one, and call it a day. Yeah. All right. Yep. So let's go to the defense, and the defense of this team is actually a little bit better. They've yeah. lost some units and yeah. trades and stuff, but they still have some great players. And one of the guys that I love, I'm going to start with, is a defensive end, Josh Allen, who they got uh, two years ago. Yeah. yeah. Uh, he fell into the lap. He fell Somehow into the lap. Up, yeah. He is a great. Great. Was it two years ago? Or was it last year's draft? Two. Well, technically, I mean, depending. Well, technically, two years yeah, ago. Yeah, 29th seventh overall, right? Yeah, yeah. two yeah. years in a row, there was a Josh Allen yeah. seventh overall. Yeah. yeah, so this will be his second season. And he was not really talked about it early, but he had some great stats at the end. Don't have him up, not going to pull him up, so I don't want to waste more time. But Josh Allen, a great defensive end. Uh, Yannick Ngakwe, the opposite Josh yeah. Allen. He's also a name that a lot of people know. I think he's yeah. on the trading block. Too. Yeah, he kind of wants He's on the trading yeah. block as well, so it'll be interesting to see how that plays out. At the linebacker position, Miles Jack, someone a lot of people know, and Joe Schobert brought in from the Browns, I believe. Is it the Browns? Yeah, yeah, that sounds right. Yeah. That sounds right. All right, I'm, I'm, I'm right. That's great. And also at the cornerback position, or the secondary, uh, so name, well, really one guy I really would like to mention is C.J. Henderson. Uh, who just got recently drafted Thank from you. Florida. That's gonna be I a, love C.J. Henderson. I think he was uh, the second best mm-hmm. cornerback in this draft. Yes. And the Jaguars took a shot at him going a bit earlier than some people might have had. A little bit, not horrible. But I don't think it was a bad spot for him. No, I think C.J. Henderson yeah. could have deserved to go there. Uh, he just has some some issues, but I think he can work him out. Yeah. Did you mention uh, Caleb on chase on I did not mention Kyle no, Montez. I'm Dave. sorry. <laughs> no. There's a video where someone says that he did not yeah. go to Notre Dame. So he's behind Kyle Yannick Ngakwe in the depth chart right now. So we'll see if they trade away Ngakwe and then fill yeah. Kyle Montez on in there. Good call. I almost missed that one. I was just reading. Yeah. Oh, that's of Aaron Lynch. who was with the Bears. Oh, yeah. Just like to read off my Bears players. All right, now, let's go four three two one yeah. quickly. Four three two one quickly. Okay, so yeah. easy forwards the Jacksonville Jaguars. Uh, I don't. Like the pieces they have, especially on their offense. So defense is the way. Trevor's coming. coming. Offense. Trevor is he coming. Hopefully he'll be your savior, but he needs to cut his hair. Next yes. pick. Yes. Uh, Colts, Titans, and Texans left. This kind of could be a toss-up because any one of these teams could be really good, or they could kind of drop down. That's I think I said the Texans. I think the Texans will kind of stay pretty good towards that top area. So this is between the Titans and the Colts. 
didn't make my mind about this before. Wow. So probably here would have been smart we to do. go. We're going to go with the. Okay, Five I just thought of the first two. one. So the Titans are going to finish third in this division this season. No, they're not. The Colts are going to finish third. <laughs> Changed my mind. Gotcha. Well, that means the Titans. I don't think that second. was that intentional, or did you actually change? No, it, it was not intentional. I did actually change my right. mind. Um, so I think the Colts will finish for third, and obviously the Titans second, and the Texans will reign supreme, right. and uh, and the, the South will not be enough again. <laughs> Ryan has that shirt. Yeah, I, I do. Have Except that shirt. the South was. Was basically yeah. Besides no, beating, South besides and a beating playoff the Bills, win. Yes. besides beating the Bills, you don't want to get there. We gotta and win then, the division. But then so what happened? So can you remind Saturday. me what happened after they beat the Bills? You like so? I forgot. Can you uh, remind me what happened? Oh, I did. I saw that. One. <laughs> uh, we lost to the Chiefs, but that's not what this video. But is how did you lose to the Chiefs? Twenty-four. Like, yeah. We blew a twenty-four nothing lead, but hey, at least we were still playing that that's time. Right. You know, at least they made the playoffs. Your team was on the couch. All right, do your predictions. We're in the hunt. Okay. They shouldn't have been. You almost lost to the Vikings backups. Okay, so, you know, we're getting, four, a, little, three, two, one, we're getting a little NFC Northy in this AFC yeah. South video. Number four, um, Jacksonville Jaguars are finishing last in this division. Listen, there's Everson Griffin uh, going with the Packers talks about that. Oh, that that's Griffin. not what this yeah, is. I know, but we're talking about, about NFC North. <laughs> okay, so. okay. Yeah, <laughs> the Jaguars, they got another first-round pick. I think they have two first-round picks in 2021. One of those will probably be Trevor Lawrence, but until then, there's going to be some growing pains and some rough patches. Gardner Minshew will kind of probably be a Ryan Finley type They are role. the front runner to go and win 16 this year. Yes. Keep it going quicker. And then number three, I have the Tennessee Titans, and I'm not joking. I have the Tennessee Titans at number three. Um, <laughs> Say psych right now. No, I, I'm not going to because so quit you, asking. You, yeah, oh, you you look at um, you look at this team, and I really think that this team is kind of similar to the Jaguars team that was minutes away from going to the Super Bowl. Um, that one time and they played the Patriots AFC Championship. They almost won. They didn't. They went, got there on the backs of their defense. The quarterback play was not great. I expect Tennessee to have a similar drop off, just like Jacksonville. They went to the AFC Championship. They lost and they declined. Tennessee finishes third. Second, I've got the Colts. I think they make the playoffs. I think they do good. They won't make the playoffs because of Phillip Rivers. They'll make the playoffs because of that great old line, Jonathan Taylor, that defense stuff like I that. To mention Jonathan Taylor. Yeah. Even yeah. Say his name. Yeah, that was a little Clyde bias. <laughs> then, um, number one, of course, I have the Houston Texans. That's not bias. I think they're the best team. The offense is still good. The defense has playmakers, and that makes up for the bad coaching. Uh, and I do want to say this before Tyler goes. I think the Titans and the Colts will be close in this division. I think we, I think we but, figured that out yeah. by you switching last time. It'll both so. be pretty good. Didn't want to talk too long. Though. All right. Well, I'm not going to cause a lot of. Um, it's going to be Jaguars. It's going to be. It's going to be Colts. It's going to be Titans, and it's going to be Texans. That's wrong, actually. Yeah, I, I, it's going to be Jaguars. It's, it's the it's same as Ryan. Titans, it's Titans, the Jaguars, the, the Titans, Titans, the Colts, the and the Texans. Texans in we first. all agree on one again. That's two in a row. Did we actually? Where'd it go, Ryan? Wow. On a winner. Well, wait, wait, you, said the, you said the Titans were. Not the exact. In, you said the Colts were in third. In the yeah, but we agree second. on a winner. Okay. Division, is what I'm saying. Yeah. All right. Well, there it was. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you're still here, make sure to like this video, subscribe to we're our channel, hit the there. notification bell, comment your opinions about this division down below. And with that, we will see you guys later. See ya.